today we're going to be talking about how to make comics and make believe comics. Um, and this is going to be kind of a play around day because there are a lot of moving parts in make believe comics. Uh, and then after today, we're going to actually do something with the comics that is going to have like a lesson that you need to teach somebody. So one of the things to remember about a comic is when you look at them, like even if they're graphic novels or they're the regular comic strips that are in the paper, they always have like a dialogue and they're usually wrap it up in three to four frames and they're telling a story. So you're always telling a story and you want to teach somebody a lesson. That's usually what's happening in a comic um, in, in the newspapers and things like that. So we're going to talk about how do I get into make-believe comics? What can I do with it? Um, and different things like that. So <clears throat> if you go to your make-believe comics in Google Classroom, it will bring you to this page right here. All right, so this is the make-believe comics page. You're actually going to log in or create your account right here. So if you click on this button right here, it should bring this up. And you're actually going to go to the log in with Google. So it's the easiest thing you're going to do. It's going to ask you to choose your, oh, it should ask you to choose your username and password or your username for Google. Um, mine automatically remembered mine because I had already logged into it. All right. So when you get that done, this is what your comics look like. So you can actually, um, you want to name your comic. And so you're going to name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to do a test comic right now. And then your author's name, that's going to be your name. So please put your first and last name there. And now you can choose your panels and how many panels you want to have. The minimum you can have, the least amount of panels you can have is three. All right, I know it says one, it's hard to do a comic with one, but you can add panels if you want to. So here's four, I could add up to five, six. You could actually sort of make a graphic novel if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to stick with three just because they all stay on the same page right here. And then I am going to come down a little bit. And you will notice down on this bar right here, there is a ton of stuff. All right. Um, there's characters, there's animal friends, there's balloons, there's stationery. We're probably not going to worry about that too much. Objects, pop-up words, all sorts of crazy things. And then you move this bar and there's even more. There's backgrounds or you can just do a color or you can do comic starters or you can do maps. These are all new. Pet words if you want. Um, you can make a greeting card. Um, you can send a hug. Most of these back here we're not going to worry about too much. So we're going to start with how do I add stuff? So very simply, let's just start with um, a character. So I'm going to start with an animal. It's going to be okay. I kind of like this little dog right here. When I click on my little dog, he puts it in into my um, frame. Now, it actually put it in a frame. I did not want it to put in. It put it in the middle frame. So I actually wanted it to put it in frame number one. So if I want to trash him, I just click on him and I go to delete and I click him. So the little trash can down here. So I want to click right over to um, my panel right here. So I got my three panels right here. All right. Um, I'm going to put him in my first panel. And I can, as long as these arrows right here are highlighted, I can now move him anywhere I want to. I can also um, scale him. Scale means I can make him bigger or smaller. So when I click on him and hit the scale button, I can make him huge. I can make him teeny tiny. Okay. Now, notice I can't move him because scale has the red. So if I want to move him again, I got to make sure I put him in the red. All right. So I'm going to put him right there. I can flip him if I want to. So if I hit the flip, I can flip him. So it just flips him um, just a little bit and I'm flipping back. If I pick a person, so let's say I want to add somebody new in here. I'm going to add um, this guy. No, he's not a good example. I'm going to trash him. Let's trash him. Um, I'm going to go back to my people. And I'm going to choose. Um, I'm just going to choose like this guy right here. And sometimes when you click on a person, they'll give you a whole bunch of different things that that person could be doing. All right. 
So I can, um, this is where the flip kind of comes in. He's kind of big, but I'm going to put him right here. If I want to scale him down, I want him to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to scale him down so he's not as big. The dog's not as big as him. Okay. Um, I may want him facing the different direction, so I could flip him that way, and then I can move him back and forth. I'm going to flip him back, though. Flip. All right. Um, and let's say that I now want to go back, and I want to add some talk bubbles, okay? So this is where people can talk to each other, so I'm going to add some talk bubbles. You got a lot of talk bubbles that you can choose from. Um, I can choose, let's say I want the dog to have this talk bubble. I'm going to put it right here and then I just click in here and I can do it this way. Now, remember when you're making a comic, people read from left to right. So people are going to read this. Let's give him a talk bubble here. People are going to read this talk bubble first. The high talk bubble and then they're going to read the woof okay so you got to remember that when you're going through your comic so if this guy is saying something that you want to be read first you're going to have to move him over all right so keep that in mind talk bubble all right um you can also have what i call these are the cool things if you've seen them in the comic you can have like if you need to move so i got the next day Maybe I don't want that there. I want to trash that right there, but I want the next day. So notice my thing moves over and shows me which one I'm working in the next day. So I can actually move through a comic strip and show time as I go along. All right. Um, if you have something bad that you want to have happen. Okay. An explosion, something like that. Those are your um, power words. All right. As I call them. So get a flat tire. You got a boom. All sorts of things all right don't just randomly put them in there like I did actually have them do something then probably one of the most fun places you can go oh you can add objects that's probably a good one to do um, so when you add an object let's say we want to stick the dog in there oh there he is I forgot he's right here all right so I want to have this I want to flip this one oops that's back to front I'm going to flip this one. All right. So I got to go back, uh, flip it again. I'm going to move it over a little bit. I want the dog to come down here. All right. Now notice that I can put the dog is like right there and it's kind of blocking his face. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. So the bring to the front, if I click, now the dog's in front and this is behind. So that's what the bring to the front is. You usually are kind of like using that with objects. I need a, what would that guy over here be? So remember, if you want to put something else in here, I got to make sure that my thing moves over. Um, what if he was working with a plant? So I want to put my plant there, but I want to scale my plant down because I want it to be really, really small. So it sits right there. Oh, remember, I got to hit move. Then I can move my plant down. Um, if I want his thing to be into the front, now his wand is over the plant. So it's kind of subtle like that, but you got lots of little objects you can add in here. You got some that are black and white. If you want your whole comic strip to be black and white, you can do that. Um, and now you are thinking, well, that's really boring, Mrs. Carlson. What if I want a background? So if you click on backgrounds, you have lots of backgrounds to choose from. So I can put a background in there. I can use the same background as I go along, or I can choose a different background. I can also, if I don't like any of these choices that are here, I can also, there is background color. So I can just like choose a color and I can slide it up and down the scale to make it be lighter or darker. All right, so I can make those greens be a little bit lighter, darker, or if I like this blue, okay, I can scale it into different colors. All right, so you can just have a plain background if you want to do that. All right, so that's a ton of information. Here's what you need to do when you get all done. All right, so I've got all of my things. Make sure you hit the save button. All right, so I'm going to save it. 
comic is saved online, which is cool because you used to not be able to do that. And then I need you to go to the print share email. Okay, print share email. The print share email, you're going to click on it. And I'm actually going to go back because I didn't want that many things. So I'm going to erase. Oops, that's not, oh, cancel. That's not the panel I want to remove. So if I get too many panels, I'm going to pick one that I don't want anymore. And I'm just going to say minus that one. Yeah, I want to remove that panel. And I want to remove that one because I only wanted three. So there's my three. I've got to update it. Okay. Saved online. I'm going to go to print share email. And I am going to come down here. You're going to put your name. Okay. So Joe Smith. And then you put your email. This is not your email, so don't do that. All right. And then send it to, and you're going to send it to me. Now my address is going to be on that piece of paper that you're going to be looking at. That's on your desk, so you know. All right. And then you just say email comic, and it will email, email me your comic. And that's how you're going to be given points for today. All right. So your job for today is to create a comic any kind of comic you'd like play around with all of the features okay remove things flip things do whatever you want to do okay so just make sure you're looking at all the features that are in co make-believe comics because later on next time i see you we're actually going to make a comic with a purpose this time you're just going to make a comic for fun all right so you can make it be whatever you want it to be it has to be at least three frames and um have some meat more than high and woof in your in your words right there okay so that is your assignment for today when you're done you're going to email it to me all right the instructions are also on that piece of paper that is at your table so you can look at that also all right have fun today